Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to little March Madness week here at Cyclone Fanatic. So I thought I'd come on in and get the expert's opinion. He's Tim Sitzman well, from Mr. B Clothing. What's up, Tim? Not too much. It's good to have Chris back in our uh, confines here. And uh, we did a little remodeling here yeah, at Mr. B's. And, and Chris had, had experienced this, but we're sitting back in one of the new additions. And uh, we opened up the store and gave a thousand more square feet of selling. Uh, Chris, we got it loaded with goods. And we're ready for spring and a lot of bright colors and a lot of fun things. So all you fanatics, come on in and say hello again. Uh, introduce yourself to me and love to have you come in. Uh, but it's good to have you back, and basketball's a fun season, isn't it? It and sure it's, is. It's winding down and getting exciting. Well, I, I know you too, Tim. You're you're a supporter of all the Absolutely. Iowa universities. And I sure am. For the second year in a row, we're going to have three teams from the state of Iowa in the tournament. That's pretty special. You know, it's unbelievable. And, you know, you, know, you think uh, the University of Iowa and, and Iowa State and uh, Northern Iowa beat number one teams mm -hmm. this year. And it, that, it just it says a lot to the parity of basketball, college basketball. And, I, you know, everybody out there is going to start filling out their brackets and who's going to win it. And it's, it's, there's no Kentuckys out there this year. No, they're not. There, there's no dominant team. And uh, it, it's wide open. I, I'm not sure that the, the Virginia, the first uh, – the top seeds, the top four seeds, are going to be the winner. I, I would agree with you, and that makes me feel good as a Cyclone fan just because um, there's been some inconsistencies at Iowa State this year, no question. However, I mean, if you really look at it, I, I've looked at a lot of the mock brackets that are out there, and it's like there's never one where I'm like, well, well, they can't win that game. You know, a couple of years ago, you, you mentioned Kentucky, the Royce White team. They get, you, you know that oh, you're going to have to play your best game ever, and they're going to have to collapse for you to win that game. That was there's, absolutely true. Yeah, and there's really not a team out there for Iowa State, and I think Iowa could even make that argument. I saw a mock bracket today with Northern Iowa um, is a 14 seed right. playing Indiana. And, wow. I mean, we've seen Indiana enough, being be that they're in the Big Ten. Right. I mean, Northern Iowa could beat Indiana. I, I, I wouldn't want to play Northern Iowa oh, if I was Indiana. I wouldn't want to touch Northern no, Iowa. No, and they're a good team. They, maybe one of the top ten point guards in the nation right there in Washburn. He's, 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 he, we, we saw when he played Iowa State this year. Wow, is he yeah. good. He's fast. Yeah. And, and uh, No, it's, it's a fun and exciting time, you know, and it's, it's nerve-wracking for the, the Cyclone fans. You know, I know that you, you want – and I wanted them to win all the way, but boy, I'll tell you what, they, they just, it's, you play top 10 competition almost every other time you play yeah. in the Big 12. Yes. It, it's a tough conference, as, as a lot of them are, but uh, in, the, in the power conferences. But don't uh, take out those sub conferences. <laughs> There's a lot of good basketball underneath those power conferences. Well, we're going to see what you just kind of talked about with, with the Big 12 this weekend, where. You know, if Iowa State wants to three-peat as Big 12 tournament champions, they're going to have to beat three top ten teams. That's amazing. In Oklahoma, West Virginia, and Kansas. I I don't think this is the year. I feel like something, um, you know, the depth. I almost think, listen, I want Iowa State to win, and if you're going to give me the option of going win the Big 12 tournament or be one and done uh, to rest up for the tournament, I'll always take win the Big 12 tournament. However, I'm not sure if um, – I don't think this team will win it this year. I, I hope that I'm wrong, and, I, and I'm not so sure that's going to be a terrible thing down the stretch. I guess we'll see. Well, you know, and I, I look at it, and we were talking off camera before, and I, I think your idea of, the, of them one and done, which is not favorable to anyone, but if they're one and done, that's fine. But if they go through and win the Big 12 and they get a top, top seed, one yeah. of the top seeds – the problem with this, this year is there's no cupcakes. Yeah. So you could be one and done in the tournament. After and we you, learned that last year. Yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> and, and when you get exhausted trying to win a tournament and the next the team comes in as they're fresh and they're ready to go and they're alive, you, there's no easy cupcakes. Yeah. I don't care whether you're 16 or you're a 7. It's a tough game. Well, regardless, it's a fun time of year. It, you know, Northern Iowa already took care of some business, so that was good. I, I, I would close by, from my point of view, of saying how wonderful it was to watch George and Yang play. And yes. How exciting he was in, in um, Monte Morris. We had had uh, an, uh, the other guard. I lost my oh, Naz. Naz. Yeah. If we had had Naz in there, I, it might have been a different season. I think it would have, too. I think they win three or four more games. Right. It would have rested some of those people, and we might have been able to compete more strongly against Kansas in that uh, overall. But Kansas, my hat's off to them to do that 
13 years in a row. Oh, it's crazy. And when that conference is amazing, it's an amazing feat. And uh, I, my hat's off to them. And they had a, I think, a surprising team. I think they got better as the season went on. They, oh, they, I would they, agree. They, they're, they're a good team. Well, I would encourage everybody to come on down here to Northwest 86th Street and Clive. Uh, looks like the we're in spring and summer mode, man. man we got the bright colors. We're ready to go. We, we turned it over a couple of weeks ago, and it was a little cold. But now the sun's out. Yeah. Feel, I mean, this is only the first of March, and it feels like the first of April. We feel like we're a month ahead. So come in while the selection's good. We're easy to find. We're on 86th Street, right on the corner of Franklin and 86th. Easy to park, easy to come in, and, and we have Mike, Mac, Andy, John, and, and uh, Ryan. We have five qualified sales the dream team the dream team the starting five is here for you and they'll, they'll be willing to help and service you and, and do what you need right. to have done but it's good to have you here chris and i wish you well and in, in the tournament i hope it's good and and in the ncaa enjoy your your ride and your trip and hopefully we can talk about a lot of great wins as we go to the next time well i sure hope so come yeah. on into uh, mr b clothing tell them we sent you uh and th thanks guys for watching we'll see you down in kansas city uh, and wherever the tournament trail takes us from there. So long.